So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the hairspray method so you can turn your WPL C24 from this into this. So stick around. The first thing I did was spray everything black just to get a nice base coat. The next thing we're going to do is mask up the window seams or anything we want to keep black. This can be fiddly, especially trying to do it with a camera in your face. But if you take your time, the end result is well worth it. Make sure you do press the masking tape into all those nooks and crannies. You can use a little knife to do this. And there we go, Bob's your uncle and jobs are good'un. Next thing is we're going to use a brown colour to represent the main colour of the rust. I use Tamiya TS1 Red Brown for this. The good thing about these Tamiya paints is they do dry very fast but make sure you give it a couple of hours just to let the paint harden. Next I'm making up a wet palette and using some cheap acrylic paints. The colours I'm using here are Burnt Sienna and Burnt Umber. We're then going to apply a lot of water to the paint surface and start to put in some of those lighter rust colours. This step can be quite labour intensive and take a while but you will get some good variations of rust in the finished product. Here you can see I'm applying water all over the model and then I'm going to get the paintbrush and start to put in those lighter rust tones. It's important to look at pictures of real cars rusting so you know where to put the lighter rust and where to put the dark rust. In the next step we can use a sponge and start to speckle some rust tones all over the car surface. It's important to use multiple different mixes of colour so you don't have a harsh transition between rust tones. And here I'm just going crazy all over the car body with that sponge. After you finish you should have something looking like this. Now for the next step we're going to add an oil wash. I'm going to use a lot of thinner and mix in this black pigment to make a very very thin black oil wash. We're then going to apply this wash all over the car to give the rust some shading and a sense of depth. Now oil paint takes at least one day to dry so make sure you leave it for at least 24 hours before you do the next step preferably 48 hours. After it's finished drying, you should have something looking like this. Lovely jubbly. Now for mine, I'm gonna mask off the whole door so it's pure rust, but if you don't wanna do this, you can skip this step. Okay, now we're gonna grab our hairspray. Now mine's Chinese, but I assure you any hairspray will work. We're going to apply a thick coat of this all over the car's body. You should give it 10 or 20 minutes to dry in between layers and you want to do three to four layers overall. I can assure you the hairspray smells lovely and I'm already losing brain cells. Nice. After waiting two or three hours, it's time to apply the top coat. And for this, I'm going to be using Tamiya TS15 Blue. I'm just going to apply it pretty haphazardly. I'm trying to replicate a bad DIY paint job here. Since you're not trying to film a YouTube video, you can probably do this a little bit further away. Or maybe you are filming a YouTube video. In that case, go nuts. Now, the end result's a little bit glossy, but we can fix that later with a clear coat. It's time to see if all that time we spent masking paid off as we take off the tape. Here we go, hashtag ASMR, hashtag satisfying.
there's a little bit of overspray, but I think that'll do. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is go absolutely insane with a wet toothbrush. Just brush and scratch it all over the place. At first, it's gonna look like nothing's happened, but after a while, you're gonna to start to see the paint chipping away and you'll see that rust layer peeking through. You'll know you're doing it right when you start to see foam. This means the water's getting through to the hairspray and it's gonna take the paint off. You can switch to a stiff paintbrush after you start to see some flakes of rust and you don't have to put so much effort into it. Now it should be a little bit easier to remove the paint. Try to think where the paint would chip in real life. Definitely at the front of the bonnet and around the sides. Whenever you start on a new section, it's gonna take 10 to 20 seconds of scratching wildly with the brush before you start to notice some paints chip off. Then again, you can switch to the softer brush and you don't need to put so much effort into it. Do this all over the car. The chipping can be very random and you don't have much control over where you want them to appear. Sometimes it's just random. However, I do think the end result is pretty good and you can see where we've put the effort in there to get all the different rust tones. And after about an hour's work, here's the finished product. Looks pretty good if I say so myself. So here's where we're gonna fix the glossy paint and seal the work we've already done. And for this, I'm gonna be using Tamiya TS80 Flat Clear Coat. You should apply three coats of clear coat, making sure to give it enough time to dry in between coats, usually about 20 minutes. After that, you can see the end result is this dull paint, which I think looks great. We're gonna get our thin black oil wash again, and we're gonna apply it with a very small brush to all the panel lines. And as you can see, the oil is gonna flow into the panel lines and give you that shading and false shadows. To get rid of the mess, we can just use a big blending brush dipped in some thinners. We're gonna do this to the panel lines all over the model. So after all that, let's see what we've got. Even though the chip placement can be a bit random, I really like the hairspray method as it gives you that raised 3D aspect to the chipping. Thanks for watching. And if you did find this useful, please consider hitting like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in your notifications tab.